Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Cara Motorhomes and Caravans who've kindly allowed us to come and film a review of this. It's the new Adria Adora Isonzo for 2021. And yes, I am smiling because I am genuinely pleased and excited to be able to review this caravan. As you know, we owned a 2018 Isonzo, so it's going to be interesting to make the comparison between the two. So what do we need to know about it? Well, as I say, it is the new 2021 model and we can see that from this amazing new front that they have. In terms of the statistics for the caravan, it has grown slightly. It's now 8.27 metres long. It's still eight feet wide, but it's put on a bit of weight. We're now at 1900 kilograms on our MT PLM, but our payload has also increased to 184 kilograms, which is excellent. If you want even more, you can upplate the Isonzo to 2000 kilograms or two tonnes, which is going to give you a massive payload of 284 kilograms. It is a four berth caravan and it still retains the same layout. So let's have a look around. First of all, the front, as I say, this is the new aerodynamic wind diffuser front. We've still got the three windows and the huge sunroof. It's still on the Alco chassis and we've got the Alco hitch with a hundred kilogram nose weight. The front locker's new for 2021. It's this nice big silver front and in there you're going to have room for two 11 kilo gas bottles and the spare wheel. We'll go down the offside of the Isonzo first of all. Now starting off, we've still got the silver sides, but we've got new decals. The whole range of the Adora caravans, along with Alpina and Altea, have gone blue this year. We've still got our side window and we've still got our water point here. It's a Truma pump, so this is where your aqua roll will go. We've then got our leisure battery box here. Coming down the Isonzo, we're still on the single axle, so we do have the alloy wheels. We've got the window into the kitchen. We've got our vents for the tower, fridge and freezer, which we still have. And then further back, we've got two more windows. And then we find the toilet cassette and the external flush for the caravan. We'll go around the back and have a look at the rear because we do have a new rear on the Adora range for 2021. So we'll just venture around to the back. The rear of the Isonzo, we do have several differences here. We've got the new LED lights, which I absolutely love. We've got the new badging as well, as opposed to Adria up at the top. And we do have some high level lights here as well. And the grab handles have now been integrated into the side as opposed to on the back bumper. So that's the rear of the new Isonzo. We'll now venture around further and head on to the near side. So onto the near side. Now we still have the gas point at the front as standard, which is great for barbecuing. We've got a second, second locker here. Coming down, we still have the stable door with window and that does have a blind inside. And internally there is the bin as well. We find we've got the awning light. So great on an evening if you do have an awning or for finding your way back on a night time on site. Last but not least, we then have the window over the bed and then we've got the storage locker as well going under the bed. Great for storing your tables and chairs and bits and pieces like that. So that is the exterior of the Isonzo. Isonzo. Now, obviously, if you want on the roof, you can have an optional extra of a solar panel fitted and you may also want to consider air conditioning units or satellite as well. So what we'll do next is we'll venture inside and see the new changes for 2021 in there. So we're inside the Isonzo. Obviously it's still eight feet wide. So we get this fantastic wraparound lounge area. This is great for relaxing. This is also going to convert into a double bed. So this is where you're going to find two of the four berths. In terms of the color scheme, We've got a grey colour on the sofas and a grey silver colour on the curtains, which I do like. The cushions, now the cushions are an improvement for the Adora for 2021. And the colour scheme is the same grey and purple. And these are reversible and they're held together with magnets. So you can use them however you want to roll them up into different shapes and, uh, and different ways. 
If you're not keen on the colours, don't forget you can always buy additional scatter cushions for caravans, um, which we've done previously. So don't be put off if you see a colour scheme in a caravan. Up ahead here, we've still got the flip up table. This is great for drinks and what have you. It's typical on the Adrias, we don't find a chest. Um, they don't do that, but we do have the table. And this is a new gray color. It's almost um, a Corian effect. Likewise, obviously we've got these great big windows. We've got the huge sunroof, and then we've got some really nice new LED lights. And the LEDs, they're underneath, and then there's a strip above as well. And you can slide those along the bars to change the lighting as to how you want them. A great addition up front is USBs, and we're going to find USBs as well with the lights. So fantastic addition there from Adria and much needed. We find storage. Now there's four storage compartments above me, and we're going to find two here and obviously two on the other side. I'll open these up so we can have a look. They're really good. They're not just there for show, they're full height and full depth. And as I say, there's four of those all together here in the front of the Isonzo. In terms of entertainment, we no longer have the old radio system that we had before, but we do have the Bluetooth uh, Adria Media Center and the control for that's under there. So that's this lounge area. There are some nice changes, but it's still a great, a great little area and I do like it. What we'll do now is we'll flip around and I'm going to venture into the kitchen and show you that next. So I'll see you in the kitchen. So in the kitchen, now the Adora for 2021, I do feel it has gone up a grade and personally, I am loving it. Um, the kitchen, we've get, got the new gray Corian effect worktop space. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed by is Adria haven't put an additional flap on here for extra worktop space, which has been a complaint from other owners that they did want more worktop space. So I'm a bit disappointed with that, but unfortunately you can't have it all. We come along and we've still got the Dometic three gas burner hob. Um, again, very usable, no electric. That's pretty standard with Adria and many European manufacturers. And then we've got the sink, which is the same as we've seen before previously on the Isonzo. You do get a sink cover, which also acts as a chopping board. Up above, we're going to find under here our microwave. So we've got the microwave, a little bit of storage there, and then some more storage next to it. And this is where we're going to put our plates and cups and saucers and things like that. So as usual, still very good storage uh, in the Isonzo. You'll notice as well that we've got a different color scheme here. These are a white matte effect. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but they're a white matte effect. If you're wondering what these are, uh, Adria have introduced these for 2021. And you can also get a fabric basket that you can hook on in various places, including over here. I'm not entirely convinced with these as yet. I'm not sure what I would put in there. Um, maybe tea bags or bags of sugar or something. I don't know, but it's a new feature. So until I've tried it, I can't knock it. One thing I am really pleased about though, this is a feature that was very good on the previous Isonzo and it's the slide out rack for storage. So again, you can get tins, breakfast cereals and all sorts of bits on there. But what I like is it's got wider, um, so there's much more space for storage. So that is an excellent addition. Next, we come across, we've still got the Thetford gas oven and grill. I'm not sure if this has gone a little bit lower. It seems a little bit lower to me, um, but excellent for cooking nonetheless. So that's the gas oven and grill. Now, as we come along under the sink, we're going to find three drawers. These are excellent depth and full width as well. This is going to be for your cutlery. And then the others follow a very sort of similar style. Again, nice and deep and full depth there. So plenty of storage. And we also find one at the bottom. They are soft clothes as well. So that's the main kitchen area. And next to it, we still have the 140 litre Thetford fridge and freezer. 
This is fantastic. If you're a couple or a family of four, absolutely fantastic. We've got the large freezer compartment above, and then we have several shelves, including our salad tray, a large tray at the bottom, which is great for milk and stuff, and then little shelves here. And there's still the little storage compartment just below it as well. So that's the kitchen area. For me, I prefer the new 2021. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the new color scheme and how it looks. What we'll do next is I'm just going to venture over and show you onto the near side of the Isonzo. So as you come in through the door, we're going to find the control panel above the door for the Alda wet central heating and also the electricity in the caravan. That used to be over here on this side, but we've gone a little bit more modern for 2021. We then come along and in the Isonzo, we're still finding the stand for the television here. This is increased in width. We've still got the television bracket. We've got some USB chargers, a plug socket, and we've got the aerial connection as well. So we've still got everything here. An improvement in this little cupboard. This is where we find the table for the lounge area. Now, previously, this was a lot more uh, narrow and you struggled to get your arm in to get that table out if you were a bit larger. But that's, uh, that's almost doubled in width, so that's excellent. Next, we see the large wardrobe and storage area is still where it was. We're going to find the Alder wet central heating boiler here because all the Adoras have Alder wet central heating and it has the pink fluid, which is five years. And this is also where we're going to find the wardrobe space. We've got the rail and the television aerial will come into here as well. So that's the wardrobe. Underneath, it hasn't changed from the previous model. We're going to find the water switches underneath and a little bit of room for shoes or a small vacuum cleaner and things like that. On the other side, now this has changed a little bit. It's now in two separate pieces as opposed to one. And we're going to find those still our shelving unit. You're going to get loads of clothes in there. I mean, if you just go away for a weekend, you could probably get completely lost in there. Um, but if you're touring longer, like we have before, uh, plenty of room. And with that increased payload, you're going to be able to carry more as well if you are touring for longer. So that is the storage space. Just up above, we do have a nice hecky light as well, which is going to let light in to this area. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to venture back into the bedroom and show you what we've got back here. So let's move back slowly. I'm going to start here. Now, previously we had a screen that pulled across. We still have that, but new for 2021, it's now a gray fabric. I won't pull that out too much, but we've got a gray fab fabric screen and that's still going to affix on this side here. So if there's four of you or on a night and you want your privacy, uh, you're going to get that there and it's magnetically held on this side as well. I prefer that to the old screen. Inside, we're going to find the same curtains, obviously, as we have in the lounge, and we've got the nice nets as well. I quite like nets. I'm not a massive fan of curtains, but I don't mind nets. I'll just move around here and explain more about the bedroom. Now, the bed, we still have the side island bed. It's really good to see though that this has changed and it's grown in size. It was previously a fixed bed and it was about six foot three maybe in length, something like that. You can now retract this bed. Uh, it still sits up as you can see for if you want to read in bed, but it now when laid down, you can fully extend it and it's six foot five in length. So great for tall people and it's four foot seven in width. So it's still a huge bed, but with the retraction during the day, it does give you more space to walk around it. I know some people thought that it was a little bit uh, short of space around the base of the bed. So that addition's answered that problem. In here, we've got plenty of lighting. We've got lights under cupboard, above cupboard, and we've also got the little LEDs as well. Same as in the lounge that you can move and slide about. And we also have the hecky above the bed to let light in. So excellent additions 
Also, we still have the little side tables. Now, there's one at each side, so ideal if you're wanting to put cups of tea and what have you on there. We've also got the, the silver rail. Again, you can bob one of the fabric baskets that I mentioned on there if you're wanting to put magazines or things like that in. The storage next to the bed, it's quite a funky little idea. You open it up and it's not just a cupboard, it also has a slide out drawer. So again, nice little feature. And up above, this hasn't changed. We've still got the two big cupboards, which again, give you absolutely fantastic amounts of storage. Um, we found we never really used all our storage, um, but some people, some people love it. An absolute bonus in here though is on the side of the wardrobe as well as light switches we're going to find two USB chargers and a plug socket and that again was something people fed back to Adria that they wanted more charging points and we've got them there in the bedroom so brilliant. Uh, so that with the two windows we've got some fantastic um, fantastic improvements to the bedroom and we still have a charging point as well down here which we had before uh, and the Alda radiator will run along there. The benefit of having the plug socket there is if you are wanting to shave or use a hairdryer in the mirror behind me you can use that socket there and look in the, the mirror. You've probably noticed behind me we've got a change here Previously, the door into the huge rear washroom was a sliding door on this side. Now, Adria have changed that for 2021 and the sliding door is now here. Obviously, you enter through here and it is held back on a small catch up there for when you're towing. So I quite like the fact that this is here. I think it opens this up quite nicely and maybe makes that a little bit more usable as well. So we'll venture back into the bathroom and see what we're getting back here for 2021. So in the rear offside corner of the Isonzo, it remains fairly unchanged. We have the glazed window, we have the mirror, the radiator for the Alder, the Thetford toilet and a towel rail. So as I say, fairly unchanged, apart from the addition of a small shelving unit where you could probably keep your toilet rolls. We'll move next to the centre of the washroom. The wash basin area has been com completely revamped. We have a completely different wash basin, which I quite like, and we have a nice new large mirror, and there's also a slightly different style cupboard at either side for various toiletries. Underneath, we find a large storage area for the toilet uh, toiletry bags, and we have some lovely LED lights as well. So it is a nice new improvement. It looks uh, completely redesigned. Over in the other corner now, we come to the near side corner of the bathroom and we're going to find the shower. Again, pretty much unchanged. We've still got a mirror in there, the shower itself, and a small intrusion from the rear bumper, but otherwise fairly standard as it was before. But again, a good sized shower cubicle, which is quite important. So what we'll do now is we'll venture back up to the lounge area and just have a summary of the Isonzo. So there we have it, the Adria Adora Isonzo 2021. Quite a few changes, obviously the new front, the new rear, and these different colour schemes internally and some fantastic additions around the USBs and new technology. The price for the new Isonzo is £25,500, so it has gone up in price, but it's still a premium brand caravan. We've got the Alder Wet Central heating and various other bits. Having previously owned the Isonzo, if you're asking me what I think to this, I really, really like this. This to me is a massive improvement. And if I was buying a caravan, yes, I certainly would buy one. Um, hopefully that's given you a nice look around the new Isonzo for 2021. Thank you to Cara who've allowed us to come and film this review today. It is just worth mentioning that the Adora comes with a 10 year water ingress warranty and a two year habitation. However, Cara will offer you a five-year habitation warranty, which is an excellent warranty, I must say. So, as always,
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.